Hello, everybody. This is Charles Barnett, and I want to share um, a short nugget with you from the Bible. You know, in um, Revelation chapter 6, it says, And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard as it were the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat on him had a bow. And a crown was given unto him. And he went forth conquering and to conquer. Now, I've heard that talked about that being the coming Antichrist. And then I've also heard that talked about that being Jesus Christ. And I remember back in the 90s, we used to listen to this um, this. Uh, Hebrew and Greek scholar by the name of Marvin Treese. One of my preacher friends just loved listening to Marvin Treese preach. It was very deep. But Marvin Treese says that this crown given to the white rider is a Stephanos, and which is correct. But he says that it means it's a martyr's crown and that the devil uh, or the yeah, Satan was never a martyr, and so therefore him embodying himself into the Antichrist, that that could not be him, that that has to be Jesus Christ because he died for our sins. And so that's what he said. So everybody started running with that. Well, recently I was talking to a brother about it, and I said, well, some people say this, some people say that. And, um, you know, I I don't plan to be around. You know, I plan to be raptured up before this happens. And, um, but anyways, I decided to look it up. And that crown, it is a Stephanos. But what it means in the Greek is, it's a wreath that is made to give into those who are in royalty. And they would put it on their head like a crown. So it's a woven wreath for the royalty. That means he's given uh, like a royal kingship like he's going to be the ruler and also it says that he has a bow and i looked that up and it's toxon and it's funny because toxon is a bow it's an archer's bow and uh, there's even a, a company that sells bows for archery and they, they named it toxon so <laughs> they must have done their homework so the interesting thing is is that um I never read scripture of Jesus having a bow. I do read a scripture of Jesus having a double-edged sword that comes out of his mouth. So, in the light of those differences, I'm going to say that this white rider on this full horseman, he's the first horse, also too is, why would Jesus be a part of the unleashing of, man, these Four horsemen are just, ooh, wrath, evil, you know. So, yeah, it can't be Jesus. It's not Jesus. Because you know why? Jesus is coming back again, but not here. This is to usher in the great tribulation. So he's given a crown, he has a bow, and he goes forth to conquer. And that's what the Antichrist does. He's going to conquer the world He's going to run the system, the new world order, the one world government, the one world religion, and the one world military, the whole one world ec world economic form. He's going to own it all. So this white horse rider right here is the Antichrist. And here's why I'm going to tell you it's not Jesus Christ. Because we go to the book of Revelation chapter 19, and it starts to say that... Um, hmm... Verse 11, and I saw heaven open and behold, a white horse. And he who sat on him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness, he doth judge and make war. His eyes were as flame of fire and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with vesture, 
dipped in blood. Yeah, see, the other white horse rider in uh, the earlier chapter, or the four horsemen, his, he, didn't, he was a white horse rider, but he wasn't dipped in blood. It's because it wasn't Jesus. <clears throat> and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon the white horse, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness of the wrath of Almighty God. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So, big difference from the white horse rider in chapter 19 and the white horse rider in chapter 6. Chapter 6, the white horse rider of the four horsemen is the Antichrist, the devil incarnate. And in chapter 19 is the coming of Christ. The white horse rider is Jesus Christ with a sword that proceeds from his mouth. So, I guess that settles it, right? Just wanted to share that nugget with you. God bless you. This is Charles Barnett. Peace of Christ unto you. Amen.